Hey, Dad. Hi, how are you? Hey, Dad. When I'm dispatching, a lot of times people will call and say that their pilot is out. I think I know what you're going to say, but what is your immediate reaction if somebody calls and says that their pilot light is out? My initial answer would be it probably is out because they don't make furnaces with pilots anymore. <laughs> <laughs> pilots were very common in gas-fired appliances like water heaters and furnaces. It was a, a tiny little flame that was there for the ignition of the furnace. These are gas-fired appliances, so it could be propane or, or natural gas, but it was there for the ignition of the appliance. That has been replaced. That pilot that burns 24-7, 365 days a year, has been replaced with an electronic device, typically a hot surface igniter, but some, some have what they call a spark ignition, where it'll either cause a little electrical spark that will light the, the main gas. But it's, it's a new form of ignition now. We're talking about my furnace won't ignite. What's funny is how it's been replaced with new technology, electronic electronics and things like that. The things that cause problems with the old standing pilot are really the same things that cause problem with the new electronic ignitions. And that is dirt is the pr primary that it doesn't allow them to light properly. It interferes with the sensing that it's everything's all okay and ready to go. Well, mm -hmm. first of all, let me ask, how old would you say that a furnace has to be if it were, if it still used a an actual pilot light? I'm going to say 15 years, roughly, roughly 15. Your, okay. You know. So most likely, if your furnace is less than 15 years old, it probably does not have a pilot light. Oh, definitely so. Yeah. If you have a 20-year-old furnace, you might actually have a pilot it's, light it's, that's out. It's possible you you would still have a pilot light, but but not but very for, often. But in both cases, the problem is the furnace is not igniting, which is really that problem is caused by the same right. types of things, is what you're right. saying. And it's a safety issue, not only to ignite the furnace, but it wanted to make sure there was an ignition source before we turn the gas on to the appliance. The new electric Electronic devices are much more sensitive, but they do the same thing. They really are not wanting to allow the gas to come on without the proper ignition source. And typically what interferes with that is maintenance, everyday dirt and dust interferes mm -hmm. with the old standing pilots the same way it does with the new electronic components. One of the things that we do on this channel is that if there is something that a homeowner can fix themselves, we want to let you know what that might be. Mm -hmm. If a furnace is not igniting, is there anything that a homeowner can do themselves or is this more a professional issue for well, safety and, and Another reason we've had this channel is to be able to t talk to people about safety issues and things yeah. like that. And really, when it comes to the ignition of the appliance, we're kind of venturing into a land that really the homeowner is best to leave alone. If the furnace isn't lighting, if you've gone through a lot of the routine checks that we've talked about in the past. Is there power to the appliance? And we've discussed ways that you can figure out whether yes or no, you've got power to the appliance. But beyond that, it's it's time to call a professional because you, you're gonna save yourself money in the long run. You're not gonna be replacing part or devices. You're not gonna break something that was perfectly fine. This, uh, is, this yes, is not primarily one of those things that we have a lot of uh, DIY tips, but what we can say is that it's probably being caused by lack of maintenance, dirt getting into the furnace type issues. Yes. If you're trying to figure out is the problem with your furnace the igniter, what are some symptoms of that? A simple check is to turn the furnace off, let it sit for a while, uh -huh. turn, turn the furnace back on, go to the thermostat and give it a call for heat, which means put it in the heat setting and raise the desired temperature above what the room temperature is right now. Typical sequence of operation of the furnace is gonna be, you're gonna hear an induced draft motor come on. So you're gonna hear a little electric motor sound and that might sure. run for up to 30 seconds less than a minute. You're then going to hear if it is working properly and it has proven those that stage out, you're going to see the ignition of the gas furnace next after that. And so typically with the new igniters, you're going to see a glow almost like a little light. You're going to see that for probably 10 to 15 seconds, and then uh, you should see combustion of the main burner. If you don't see that glow light or something other than what we've just described, there's something interrupting that. And so mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's not necessarily the ignition source. It's not necessarily the igniter, but it's one of those things that that furnace has to prove before it allows the furnace to come on. And so right. that's a typical routine in how it lights it. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the ignition source is the problem. In the older pilot light furnaces, there were fewer control mechanisms, but now it's like it could be multiple things multiple that are not things. causing the furnace to right. light. Or so you're on. replacing components
sense that actually that wasn't the problem. There's diagnostically ways to know what the problem right. is without replacing a part. Okay, very good. Right, yeah.